Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by giving you a little background. Uh, my first year out of high school, I think it was my first, or yeah, my first year in college, I went up snowboarding for a little mini vacation and I broke my right wrist. Uh, I never went back to the doctor and that wrist never really healed properly. And as you can see here, my right wrist, uh, yeah, I can't hold up three fingers. So my wife calls it my strong hand. Um, but fortunately it didn't hinder my ability to draw. But while my arm was in a cast, I was in school, I was in college and I had taken drawing classes. Uh, the instructor was really cool. She said, this is a really good opportunity for you to learn how to draw left-handed. Um, and I don't know if you'd call it learn how to draw left-handed, but I was forced to draw left-handed. So I've mentioned before that my style is really tight and instructors were always trying to get me to loosen up. So this honest, like I took the optimistic approach to having broken my right wrist and I decided, okay, well, I'm just going to embrace drawing really loosely and my instructors and my instructors obviously help me with that but as you can see uh, I'm drawing really loose and I'm not worried about you know like really strong hard lines or anything I'm basically scribbling in kind of the shapes um, and actually I really like this technique so much having drawn so much left-handed while my wrist was broken that I ended up doing some drawings um, right-handed in this kind of scribbly technique so other than liking the style, what are the benefits of drawing left-handed besides forcing you to be loose with your drawings? Um, one, I feel like for me, it activates the other side of my brain somehow. And I've actually taken this and I play basketball a lot. I love, I play on city league teams, I played in high school. And one of the things I do when I warm up is I shoot left-handed. Um, and I've noticed what it does, it makes, when I switch back to my right hand, it makes uh, my form for my shot feel so much stronger for some reason. Uh, I don't know why that is, but uh, warming up left-handed, it helps me. Um, and I feel like the same thing can happen when you draw left-handed and then switch back to right. It somehow activates that other side of your brain, or at least I feel like it does. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's just a mind thing, but I enjoy doing it. I actually haven't done it in a really long time. I've gotten really rigid with uh, my daily sketches and stuff like that and how I approach it. And I feel like after doing this video, I definitely need to come back to um, warming up left-handed. I just, warm-ups, I don't know, I don't have a whole lot of time these days, so I don't get a lot of warm-up in. I'm always, I tend to be drawing what I intend to draw. But, um, so in this drawing right here, uh, I just decided to do kind of a scary face and you as you can see that scribble technique just brings it to life It's not as dead as like when you're drawing right-handed. Obviously some things are off um, The eyes are a little bit wonky, but that just adds to the character. I think uh, so you can do um, I feel like pretty cool drawings left-handed you can come up with finished artwork uh, and it just shows you kind of the flexibility you can have with drawing. You don't have to be so rigid and sometimes drawing left-handed can help you get out of that uh, rut that you're in. One thing about drawing left-handed is when you do like draw it, it's kind of so awkward. Like even drawing this uh, this way, I wanted so bad to grab the pencil with my right hand, but you just got to kind of force your way through that and after a while, like I did those first two kind of warm-up drawings, uh, and really f had to force myself mentally to stick with drawing left-handed because uh, your mind wants you to switch to your dominant hand. Uh, but once you get it going for a while, then you start to feel a little bit more comfortable. And I feel like if you do just a few sketches, quick ones like I did earlier, um, then you can do something like this and kind of have an overall picture in your, in your head and focus on that. After doing this drawing, one thing I might try um, for another drawing in the future is actually to start left-handed uh, because the, the lines and everything create such an interesting texture, especially for something like this, like a monster skin or something. And then maybe go back over it a little bit tighter with outlines and stuff like that with my right hand. So I actually went back in and added some dark outlines and uh, kind of added some shading as well, just to flush the face out a little bit more and see what I could come up with. One of the fun things to do is take those scribbles that you did and kind of highlight edges of them and uh, add kind of some dark shadows in there. 
Uh, it's cool because it kind of gives the image like or the skin kind of a cracked look. So that's the video and I hope you guys liked it. Uh, and I hope you give uh, drawing left-handed a try. Even if it's just for warm-ups, it's a good way to break out of your comfort zone and uh, try something new. And really, yeah, I, I feel like it's one of the things that helped me kind of see drawing a little bit differently.